Less than 24 hours after Brad Van Loo took victory in the opening leg of the Velux Five Oceans Round the World Yacht Race, the American skipper was back on deck once again and hard at work. Having spent a month at sea, Van Loo's boat Le Penguin was due for some well-earned maintenance and a few repairs. So the strategy that we use um, as, a, as a basic uh, underlying philosophy about how we maintain the boat in each port is that we have three categories of things that we focus on. Things that need repairing or fixing, uh, things that we try to repair or fix before they break. The third thing that this category that we that we focus on is to change the configuration of the boat from how we wanted the boat set up for the weather conditions and the sea conditions in, in this leg that we just did, leg one, and how we want to change it for the Southern Ocean to get it ready for, for leg two. We do a lot of work in the rig to uh, keep you know, ropes from uh, getting frayed. You know, if, if one of those ropes frays through, it means that I have to visit uh, the boat above the deck, which I don't like to do when I'm offshore alone, so we're very particular about things going on in the mast. We're taking all the sails off. Those are the last two sails that need to go to the sail loft here in Cape Town. The company that we work with, uh, Quantum Sails, has a big facility here in Cape Town, so everywhere we go we take all the sails off the boat. Uh, sails are very, very important. They're essentially the engine on these boats, and uh, uh, they're, they're very expensive. They're um, relatively fragile and get a lot of love, so we'll spend as a team some time in the sail loft with the sails spread out on a wood floor and, um, again, protect them from chafe. Go through them with a fine tooth comb, make sure there's nothing coming along that, that structurally in the sail and the membranes uh, could affect my ability to push, push the boat. The electronics package um, I'll, um, and, and the computer package is something also that gets a, a thorough going through every time we come into port. Um, my computer uh, guy is coming here from the United States for a few days. And uh, Jeffrey will go through the, the diesel engine with a fine-tooth comb, give it a full ser you know, service, um, you know, oil change, type, you know, replace alternator, alternator belts, um, check you know, the fuel system, uh, replace the fuel filters. Other than that, you know, we're cleaning the boat from stem to stern before we, we sort of um, you know, pull everything apart and go th go through it. Basically, these boats are real tough on, on stuff like the winches because the water rushes down the deck on these boats so fast and furious in, in such vast quantities that the salt water shoots up into the mechanisms and, and like any machine, they don't like salt water. So, go through the winch package, all the ropes will get soaked and cleaned and uh, all the salt get out of them because that the salt is um, an abrasive and so when salt gets into uh, ropes, um, it, uh, it can abrade the uh, structural fiber inside the rope itself, uh, can chafe on itself when it gets salt in it, so all the ropes get attention. That's basically what we do in port, and, um, and then we try to get it all ramped up real fast in the first week that I'm here, uh, so I'm involved with the team for about a week. And then, assuming everything's going well and the vendors are everything's cooking along, then what I try to do is go spend some time for myself, you know, be with the kids and spend a little time with Megan and, and get out of here and get away from you and, uh, <laughs> and and go have a little downtime. So, you know, we we break we break the leg up um, as far as maintenance goes, so that I come into port, I spend time with the crew, they get going, then I disappear, then I come about a week or a week and a half back before the restart.